In this video, we want to look at how to set up a bank and also a bank account, payment documents and the bank transaction codes. From the payables vision operations responsibility, we want to navigate to the bank windows by going to set up payment bank and bank branches and this will open in a web page. So I'm going to click on the banks link and then click on the create button to create a new bank the country is United States bank name I'm gonna call the bank Alpha Bank of America Alpha Bank of America and that's the basic information I need to create the bank. I'm going to click on next. And this will give us the option to enter bank address and bank contacts. So I'm going to leave the address as is. I'm just going to click on finish. And I'm just want to create the branch. So in the bank branches link, I'm going to set, search for the bank name. So Alpha Bank of America, and there isn't any, so I'm going to create one. Country, United States. Bank name Arthur Bank, Arthur Bank of America, and then I'm going to click on continue. So, create a new branch. So, my bank branch name, I'm going to call it New York. And I'll leave everything as is and click on finish. So now I have a branch name for my bank. And then I want to create an account. So I'm just going to click on the create account icon. Continue. My bank account owner is going to be Vision Operations. I want it to be enabled for payables and receivables. Click on next. So in the account name, I'm just going to call it Alpha Disbursement and Deposits. And then account number, I'm just going to call it Alpha. Currency US dollars. I'm going to allow multiple currencies and description will be my cash disbursement and deposit account. Save and next. So now I want to enter my GL account information. So in my general general controls, I'm going to enter the cash account number, um, which is going to be my five zero dash zero 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 dash one 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 zero dash zero 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 dash zero 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 bank charges account copy and paste and I'm just going to change the cost center 720 and 7870 
and my cash clearing account I would use 1250 bank errors I make that the same as my bank charges and all the other accounts I'll leave them blank so in my payables control I will click on the checkbox multiple currency payments minimum amount payment I'll make it five dollars I'll allow zero payments minimum outlay so maximum outlay um, let's put in a million well, that's 10 million a million maximum payment I'll make that 200,000 just put some limitations there in my receivables controls I want to allow multiple currency receipts and I'll leave everything as is auto reconciliation tolerances I'll leave them as is zero tolerance and so on for my manual and auto reconciliation tolerances so save and next now I want to grant the organization access so it's none at the moment so what I will do is click on add organization access and I want access for payables and receivables for the vision operation vision operations and no end date and I'm gonna click on continue so I'm gonna enter some accounts so in my payable options some accounts are already entered so I can just review them which is similar to what I entered earlier on and in my receivable options I'm just gonna add some more accounts so I've got my account for cash for bank charges and I'm going to enter for my unidentified receipts and I'm going to use 0001240 I'm actually going to add another one for my factored receipts so factored receipts I'll use 1245 confirmed receipts use the same as my cash account remitted receipts I'll use my 1245 same as the factors AR short term debt I will use again 1245 unapplied receipts On apply receipts, I'll use one two four zero. On account receipts, one two four zero. In my receivables activities for my unearned discounts, I will use for the account type unearned discount. I'll use unearned discounts as well. Unearned discounts. And for earned discounts, I will use the end discounts account. So I'm going to click on apply and then finish. And now, what I want to do is manage my payment documents. So I'm going to click on the button that says manage payment documents. I want to create my payables documents and I'm going to create uh, checks 
So name is going to be AS checks. That's the British spelling. And I'm going to use blank stop, blank stock. I could use print number, but I'm going to use blank. And then the format will be my standard check format. Standard check format is what I would use. And I'll leave my payment document category and I'll use my first available number as 1000. Apply. So that's my setup done for the bank account and also for the payment documents. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.